Hello folks, well fair warning, this is a re-upload of a previously published episode, so no need to watch if you're up to date. Cheers. Well hello there and welcome to Travels with Jordy. My name is Peter and this good looking fellow here is Jordy and we live together on a classic wooden motor cruiser in Victoria, British Columbia, all the while fixing it up for some pretty extensive cruising. If that's the sort of thing you might be interested in, why don't you consider sticking around and subscribing? We'd love to have you. All right, Pop, let's go. All right, well, just pulled into uh, Brentwood Bay. I uh, dropped by to see a buddy of mine here, and he said, hey, take my truck if you need to do some provisioning. This is the sweetest little Toyota diesel mini truck. Listen to this. Can you hear that? I love it. What an awesome little truck. Okay. So we're booting around in Brentwood Bay, um, trying to maybe pick up a spot to drop the hook, but it's pretty tight in here. Let me take you for a little look around. Not a lot of room. Nice little woody there. Anyway, I was just tied up at that marina by the hour, and by the hour is $18. So we won't be staying there too long. But it did enable me to do a little provisioning, and it was a privilege to be able to borrow Scott's truck. So I have a couple of options. Um, I won't show you right now, but there's two little inlets here. And uh, there, hopefully there's room in at least one of them. My goodness, that's wonderfully easy on the ball. Okay, let's talk about stern tying. Um, here, let's go outside. Let's go, pup. Okay, I don't know how universal it is. I'd never heard of it until I came to Pacific Northwest. Uh, sorry. Uh, the southern Gulf Islands of British Columbia, as well as Desolation Sound. Anyway, in tight moorages like this, this is a tiny little inlet called Butchered Inlet. In fact, that's the Butchered Gardens, which is a very, very famous, incredible um, natural gardens, uh, which I'll probably visit while I'm here. But anyway, um, all these mooring balls are complementary to Butchered Gardens, which is great, except it's a stern tie mandatory. In other words, you tie your bow to the mooring ball and you run a stern line to, to a pin on the shore. You can see where the markers are and they tend to be a big ring, big hook. Normally I have a big spool of floating line uh, that would be adequate for that. But I have a hundred feet of heaving line and uh, that'll certainly do for the winds we're going to get out of here tonight. All right, let's set that up. Okay, so I have a hundred feet of this 3 8 line and by the time the boat is stretched out sideways that'll be way less than a hundred feet and I take it in with the dinghy. Um, but I am going to extend the bow line just a little bit to make sure I can make it all the way. Okay, let's take this ashore. Now, I don't know if you could watch me tow it back around. Um, ideally, when you have a stern line, it's long enough you can run it out to the ring and back. So in the morning, all you do is release it at this end and pull it through, but the line's not long enough for that. So what I did, I came back as far as I could off the rock, so I don't have to go back onto the rock to untie it and tie it a bowl. And yes, I put about another six half hitches just for sissy factor. Not that there's gonna be any wind. 
Okay, so I'm just going to tighten it up a bit so we're sitting proper and uh, we're moored for free in Butchered Gardens. Pretty slick and we can run back into town super easy to see my two sets of friends that are in Brentwood tonight. Cheers. I gotta get Jordy ashore somewhere. Yeah. This is a pretty nice spot, I must say, and there's no one in here. I rigged the double bridle up front just for extra security. Not gonna need it. Look at all the balls that are available. All right, off to town. Brentwood Bay has a ferry across to um, the main part of Vancouver Island over there, a town called Mill Bay. I've never taken it. It's the kind of thing that you sort of imagine by the time you wait in line and get loaded up and cross over and get out the other side, you can pretty much drive around the bottom and it may be hard to explain. But. Anyway, so I'm tootling over to a uh, wooden shipyard, Abernathy and Godin really significant shipyard that um, is very very well known and they've just launched um, something they've been working on for quite a while so I'm going to go over and have a peek at it here. Some nice nice boats. Okay, now this is a real privilege. I'm at uh, Abernathy and Godin, which is a wood boat shop in uh, Brantwood Bay, and really famous, awesome, fantastic to have an actual genuine wood boat shop still using a ways. Check this out. This is Euphemia. I don't know the length, but there's a lot of boat here. And they just pulled her in having uh, launched Passat 5, uh, which they had in here for five months. I just love a space like this. Yeah. Just perfect boat sitting inside every tool you'd ever need. Check out the swim grid. It, it's like a 12 foot long swim grid. Absolutely brilliant. Just brilliant. Okay folks, I'm here puttering around in Brentwood. Caught up with my buddy Scott, who's actually a previous owner of MV Zephyrus. And this is his 1916 Alden built in East Goose Bay, Maine. East Goose Bay, Maine. Crazy. Scott is doing some insane work right now. Completely rebuilding from, wow, from pretty far below the gunnel there. The neat thing about Scott is that nothing scares him. When you get into wooden boats, this is the guy that you just can't scare, really. Well, well come see you later, May. Yeah. How about a beer of the week? Let's do it. All right, see you in a bit. Cheers, we're gonna put back over to our little uh, secret cove. See you, mate. Yeah. All right, well, they're threatening rain, so we've brought a brawly. Jordy and I are fully prepared. What do you think, Pop? Yeah, that's why we're going back to town to shoot a beer of the week with um, Scott. I think I mentioned he was a previous owner of Zephyrus. It was called uh, Motor Vessel Andromeda then. A lovely boat. Okay, so we're on our way back to town. And back on the anchor in Fulford Harbor on Salt Spring Island, this time to um, go to a show, music show up here at the community center. Uh, Harry Manx, great Canadian musical legend. i uh, really looking forward to that tomorrow night. And of course, if you're gonna be on Salt Spring Island, you have to come to Saturday Market in Ganges. Well, good evening. On my way into uh, the Fulford Community Center for uh, Harry Manx concert tonight. Really looking forward to it. Um, just a hop, skip, and a jump up from the head of the cove here. 
Oh my gosh, what the hair? Eh, what am I gonna do? Oh, there we go, proper community center. Little meal before the show, and a beverage. Let's if I can find my people. Who can resist an outdoor game? Give a little tinkle. Well, hello and welcome to Beer of the Week. I'm here in Brentwood Bay with my buddy Scott Dressler. Now, Scott is an interesting character. You can see we're aboard his... Alden Yall. Alden Yall, big ass long. 55 foot. 19. 1916 19, Alden Yall. Alden Yall, he's doing a lot of work and we're going to show you more about that. But more importantly than that, Scott was the first Bodie I ever met on the coast. In fact, when I first, I met a Land Rover guy and the Land Rover guy said, you should get an old wooden boat. And I said, that's what I'm looking for. That guy knew this guy. In a few seconds, we'd met MV Zephyrus, which at the time was... Andromeda. Andromeda, and that was Scott's boat. And uh, he was looking after it really well, did a lot of really great work to it. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, you did. We took care of it. We took care of it. It wasn't a boat for me at the time, uh, but, you know, circumstances turned out that it ended up with uh, um, a friend of mine, and that worked out really, really well. And so I've just pulled into the harbor here aboard MV Zephyrus X Andromeda, and I'm going to spend a little time with Scott here, and we're going to drink beer of the week. Sounds good to me. Have you ever had Barkville High Stakes? No, I have not. It's an Imperial IPA. I didn't pay any attention really to I getting can this. smell the hops from here. Exactly. It's something I've never had and I was just up at the liquor store and I had to have something. So let's so, fire up a couple of these and see what we think. Proper nautical glassware I see you have here, Scott. I, th I believe they are Canadian 12 meters. Really? Yes. Did they come with jam in them? No. No, they, no, these they, are... They, <laughs> These, these are these are actually like yacht club caliber stuff here. They are. They're okay. Very yachty. Here you go. Okay. Let's see what we think of this. So, cheers to oh. the Alden Altair. Yes. Hope she sails forever. Me too. Wow, well, 103 years is already a small forever. Small forever, exactly. What do you think of that, Scott? It's creamy. It's creamy. It doesn't taste like an IP to me at all. Not it's a at little all. hoppy, but it's. A totally creamy. It's creamy. Yeah, it's not what I expected. Not an unpleasant beer. It's, well, it's it's okay. It's it's, it's good. It's I really okay. like it. We yeah. should have bought two. Might be a bit warm, but no, anyway, but even that, I did bring it over in both. So, what are the plans for Altair? I uh, I just want to have it. Just want to have it. Not going cruising. Well, I want to sail around BC. Right. I want to go around the island. You're in I the perfect go to the Charlotte's. Right. So perfect cruise. You're you going to the. Are you going to Hyderabad? I, I think. Currently, quite an ambitious ambitious offshore path. I would like to actually move, move to Hyderabad. Awesome. Yeah. You'd fit in in Hyderabad. You'd be totally right in there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. You could build some houses up there too. Do something. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure I could keep myself busy. So is this your last boat? Yes. Awesome. And it's going to be home? For a while, yeah. Forever. Yeah. All right. Well, cheers to that. I love the idea of it. See you next week. Okay, out of 10, quick. Seven. Really? I like it. Yeah. Well, then you can pretty help me talk. <laughs> <laughs>